Hello and welcome back to Lorsworn Chronicles Crusader Kings, where we are playing as the Kingdom of Kironia and Queen Ruta, the, uh, the third monarch in the line, another daughter of uh, the legendary Akko. And we are currently in the process of sailing our way over to the Saxon coast to get some gold. Again, all these seaborne raids, funneling gold back into our land so we can build up our infrastructure and start conquering and consolidating our neighborhood here. Uh, meanwhile, raiders continue to beset our fringe areas, and uh, we'll definitely have to do something about that. So I believe it's Ghent that we want to raid here. And we'll see if the Saxons... Uh, oh, so the elders are now supporting this guy as my heir. He's a terrible diplomat, but at least he can fight. Oh, I didn't deal with any of this shit, did I, last time? Uh, we need a new marshal. Is there anybody who's mad at me that wants the job? Ten, but he's a coward, so that's not going to work. Eight. Yeah, we'll go with it. Spymaster. Uh, definitely want to go with someone who I know I can trust. Not going to create any titles. Okay, so yeah, they're still trying to get my nephew to be a chieftain, so the civil wars are far from over, meaning we should probably take a warfare focus, because we're probably going to have to continue to try to defend our lands. We can negotiate with this guy and settle him, but I'm not going to do it. Um, I'm going to keep the crown focus on Kurtzema, at least until it's flourishing, um, or whatever the level after flourishing is, booming, I forget. Oh, I didn't even nominate a successor yet. Um, Osala. Yeah, I'm actually going to nominate Osala. She's got amazing stats. There just have not been that many impressive men in this dynasty. Uh, let's find her a husband real quick. I'm going to load my slot zero, change this to men. Let's see if we can find her a genius husband. Yep, oh, genius. It was not super old. Uh, oh wow, there's actually a genius of our religion who is not related to our dynasty. So we're going to uh, arrange a betrothal here. Oh, he doesn't want a matrilineal betrothal. Okay, so we're going to have to wait or pick somebody older. Uh, this guy is gay, so he's not as likely to produce heirs. Um... Let's do this. Let's assign Ruta as his guardian. Really? Really? Alright, we're just going to mark him as important. Um, which I always forget where they ended up putting that button. There it is. When he turns 16, we'll invite him and make him marry matrilineally. Uh, Alright. Alright. And they can't decide who they want to vote for. Loyal servant surely deserves some recognition. Um, is that like African face paint? It looks like that might be a bug, possibly. Or maybe it's just for having the tribalist trait? I don't know. Yeah, maybe if you pick an animist as one of your things, they start using face paint. I guess that would make sense. Um, yeah, no, we're not giving away land. This greed does not become of you. We also need to educate our grandson. Looks like he'd be a decent warrior. It's Kaga, but I'm going to call him Cage. Rage Cage. Yeah, okay. Listen, we can't defend everything at once. What's that saying about if you try to defend everything, you'll end up defending nothing? We'll deal with it when we get back from the raid. Just give me a minute. Okay, cool. They want... No, that's Zygna. That's not who, who I want them to elect. Let's see. We have a commander spot open. Make sure he's not a coward. We also need a court physician... 
Let's send for one. Um, oh, and pick a patron deity. I'm just gonna stick with uh, Perkunas for the foreseeable future. Okay, so the Saxons are mobilizing. Great monument. Uh, house of my ancestors. Let's do it. Let's uh, let's dedicate a monument to Perkunas. <coughs> Excuse me. Not fully back from my plague yet. Uh, mercenary band. Field surgeon. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, sure. Alright, we might just make it out before their defensive army shows up. Let's make sure that we have, uh... Alright, we have very good flank commanders. Oh, I need to pick an ambition. Um, we're gonna try to see the... Actually, I'm gonna do build a war chest. It's because I don't mind giving out some favors if people are going to pay me for it. Okay. Drag some people out of their holdings. Got a pretty decent amount of gold on the boat. Uh, do we want to hang out a little bit longer? Probably head back and deal with these raiders fairly soon here. Okay, there's the big army. Will we get to the sea in time? No, we will not. Alright, so we were too greedy and got chased, uh, chased off and lost more than half of our army on that raid, which probably is not going to ingratiate... Uh, we got a plane or something going overhead here. Probably not going to ingratiate Ruta to her people too much. Um, oh yeah, everyone keeps asking about Muslim Gotland. Um, cool. So I will take a look at Muslim Gotland. Uh, this guy is the leader. It was actually his father who converted to Islam, I believe. Yeah, because he has sympathy for pagans. Don't know why, but yeah, this guy, Jarl of Gotland converted to Islam, and uh, the island is still Germanic, but uh, it's being ruled over by a Muslim dynasty right now. So there you go. Um, pardon me, I am going to go... I just realize this window's open. It might be a little bit too much background noise. Alright, and we are back. I am going to... Um, should probably pick a different raid target. Also, it says vassal levies are raised too long. These should be all my boats. I don't think I built shipyards anywhere else. But um, yeah, we need we need to pick a new raid target because the Saxons are a little too strong. Oh, by the way, look at uh, look at this green starting to spread across the uh, economically poor regions of the. Uh, Jeez, what is that? Oh, it's a huge peasant revolt in Polotsk. Great. Uh, where is this guy going? Is he going to try to continue to raid? Oh, hey, we uh, killed the robber band in Vanima. That's nice. Starting to recover from the effects of our acute budget deficit. Yeah, let's just raise the royal armies and go kill this... Raid stack real quick, we'll meet up. Oh, nope, don't march through the deadly peasants. That's not smart. Kingdom of the Hungarians has decided to settle down. Uh, okay, interesting. Uh, or the King of the Hungarians, it's not the Kingdom of Hungary. Okay, interesting, so we've got, uh, another new settled, uh, Settled nomadic realm here. The Olvia Kingdom. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. 
and they are right on our borders. So that is definitely something we would be interested in learning more about. Uh, who is this guy, by the way? Uh, let's see, he's a sturdy, he's, he's a thick boy. Deceitful, gregarious, lustful, and stressed. All right. Let's see how that goes. Oh, wait. You know what else that allows us to do? That gives us an avenue of expansion into Ruthenia, because, uh... Oh, wait, he's still unreformed pagan, isn't he? He is still unreformed pagan, so we are still going to take stupid amounts of attrition from trying to fight him. New recruits have joined the Warrior Lodge. Conversion of Sweden! Okay, this is going to start making things interesting. Uh, so, rather than the Russians, uh, it appears that the Swedes have looked to Constantinople uh, for their salvation, and Sweden has converted to the iconoclast faith, making them the first uh, major post-Charlemagne Germanic society to do so. The tribes of Sweden have been converted to the iconoclast faith. A group of priests sent by the Basileus of the Byzantine Empire have performed a great ritual during which they converted the entire population of Sweden alongside King Sigurd II and many of his vassals. With this act, the people of Sweden have once and for all forsaken their old pagan gods. Well, probably not all of them. Probably probably only the Nulotas down here. Uh, the, that's, that's, uh, but, you know, we'll see what happens in time. Um... So that's very interesting. That, that's actually very interesting indeed. I'm curious to see how well they'll do with this strong Saxony. But yeah, they also own some random land in Italy, which the Byzantines are probably thrilled about. Um, Byzantines who have been quite beleaguered, uh, losing Constantinople to the Bulgars, and now it's owned by the Croats who conquered the Bogar Bulgars. And yeah, it's, it's just craziness going on down there. Okay. Um... So this is the grandson of Sigurd Ring. I believe he's a nephew or a grandnephew of Ragnar Lodbrok, possibly. Or yeah, he would be a nephew of Ragnar Lodbrok. Pretty sure. Uh, let's figure out this dynasty real quick. So here's Ragnar Lodbrok. Here's Bo. Yeah, so this is his n nephew, uh, who is the current king of Sweden. Still a little stuffed up, so <clears throat> appreciate your patience with my uh, nasaliness. All right, um, yeah, that's a big deal for us. Uh, <laughs> that also means we could start attacking Sweden pretty much with impunity, because they don't get pagan homeland attrition anymore. Um, so yeah, interesting times. Interesting times. It looks like the raiders from Chernigov are running away, so we can probably stand down these armies now. Peasants of Latgale are starting to respect our rule again. That actually makes a fair bit of sense, especially if you think about the Varangian Guard. Oh, wow, and there's a Swedish holy, uh, Civil War already. Uh, Swedish Revolt. Yeah, this guy doesn't like... <laughs> doesn't like the new gods. Uh, or the new god, singular. So he's gonna... See if he can do something about that. I'm also gonna worship the ancestors. I'm gonna ask for prosperity for the realm. Uh, we will... She doesn't seem important. Peasants and years ago and Latkale are starting to respect our rule again. So, uh, blabbered about a certain plot. What plot am I? Am I plotting something? Am I backing a plot? Why am I backing this plot? That's, I don't, I don't know what the point of that is. I'm going to ransom off some characters, and we're going to plan another raid. Don't quite have enough money to build another building yet. 
Alright, sparring match. They want me to duel this girl. Let's go ahead and let's go for it. 24 personal combat skill versus 29. We're fairly evenly matched. Alright, accepted the challenge. Let's get a screenshot of her traits. Just as I bash my dull spear down hard across her, across her chest, Proskoya, Proskovia manages to hit me square in the jaw. However, the crowd is chanting my name, so I won the duel. <coughs> Pardon me. Old wound is healed, now grievously scarred. Ask me for advice? Alright, so becoming friends with the people we beat up. Alrighty. Um, that would be a great time to raid Sweden while they're in a civil war. They just don't have any provinces I particularly care about. Um, yeah, this there's there's just war all over the place. We could raid England. Uh, it's a tempting target. Mercia is actually broken free from the uh, the greater kingdom of England, and they have... That's a fairly rich province. Yeah, let's go raid England. Raiding England is a fun thing to do during the Middle Ages. Alright, let's see. Raise our boats. Raise our troops. No, wait, that's not our domain, is it? Let's see, will you guys all fit on there? Nope, not quite. Uh, so we will stand down the smallest stack here. Finally, the monument is finished. It turned out just as you envisioned it, perhaps even better. Uh, awesome. To celebrate its completion, a grand ceremony was held in Perkunas' honor. What a ceremony indeed. Tales of it will be told as long as the monument stands watch over Kurtzema. So, 21st of July, 838, a famous monument goes up. That might get its own Akopedia page. Uh, fledgling in my lodge. We'll give him an even challenge. I'm going to stop even bothering to screenshot those because they're not interesting anymore when we've seen them this many times. Uh... Alright, finally, I gave someone an even challenge and they they did what they were supposed to. New recruits have been initiating. Why would I want to kill my nephew? I don't have beef with him. No, don't stand down. I want you to merge armies. Now go into raid stance, and now get on the boats, and now we're going to England. And maybe we're not going to England because they have just consolidated their power. But what about this little Essex? They've got typhoid going on. So maybe we should raid this little strip of East Francia? Sure, they have a big army too. Okay, let's let's pick our target carefully. Cornwall. Cornwall has money and probably can't defend themselves. Apparently, I now have scurvy. And Kurtzame is doing very well. Oh, sweet! So we uh, we now have the booming modifier in our capital, which is fantastic. And actually, we'll keep the crown focus there because we can get additional holding slots from that eventually. And here's another booming province. We're going to come in and take all their stuff. Looks like we have uh, executed the robber bands. Doing a much better job of consolidating than Naula did. Need a new commander. Make sure he's not a coward. 
Childhood focus for my bastard granddaughter. Always struggle. Oh, their walls are too high. Well, we'll take what we can from the uh, unprotected part of the countryside. Meaning we're going to need more boats. So that we can bring more men siege larger fortifications now. Stigut, he is my kinsman. He's a grandson of Naula. We'll make him a warrior. Alright, how about Devon? Make sure we actually have flank commanders. Battle of Devon, oh man. They killed our kitty. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to duel the enemy commander. Why is Billung? He's a Saxon? Okay, so it's an Anglo-Saxon kingdom. They just happen to be employing a Saxon pagan commander. Uh, I'm not sure what's wrong with me, but nothing I do has any effect on Billung. Come on, don't give up already, he commands, disgruntled and clear in his voice. I try to rise, but I can't. My hand hurts like it never has before. I'm just going to rest a little in the snow, I mumble. Severely injured. Lose the duel. Alright, well, that's unfortunate. We did win the battle, though. I keep forgetting to screenshot battles. I no longer have uh, scurvy, though, which is nice. All right, so Chief Stigat of Riga has decided that I am a pretender, and uh, he wants to he wants me to relinquish the title. Uh, so Chief Pukik of Sklovia can be uh, the new king and he is this guy who is uh, son of Chief Damas grandson of Akko uh, we will not be blackmailed though alright so this is the state of the country at the outset of this particular civil war we are going to return from our raid immediately. In the meantime, we're going to raise up all of the loyal banners. Alright, he's not going to escape, so we're just going to stand him down. I'm going to pull an interesting little gambit here, actually. In terms of how I'm going to consolidate our troops hmm yeah we're definitely in a dangerous spot Let's see if we can get to Galinda stand that guy down because he's not going to be of any help <coughs> so this is the, what, third civil war since Akko died? Actually, no, it's it's the fourth. Because we had two adventurer claimants and we had a faction fire while Naula was queen. And now we're having another faction fire for Ruta. Um, let's see, can we afford... We can't afford a really expensive omen, but let's use a healthy cow. Well, the beast's head is immolated, the diviner starts rummaging through her entrails. The signs are not entirely clear, but the diviner assures me there are signs. No signs of the fates opposing our war. Our troops will surely be comforted knowing that the gods are not against them. To war! So we're going to have kind of a northern army and a southern army. Well, yeah, he's dead. Oh, wait, maybe not. If I take this big stack... I 
have Ruta lead the charge. Scordo and just any other commander really will do. So we might be able to save them. Let's say. Okay, shit. Ruta feasts with the gods uh, at age 66. She died a mangled mess. Having been mangled in a terrible accident, Ruta spent her last years barely able to walk. Death has finally freed her soul from her crippled body. So, uh, that was not a long reign at all. And, uh, the, for whatever reason, for whatever reason... <laughs> The elders have chosen uh, Zygna as her successor, so this is our third queen in a row. She's 41, her diplomacy skill is absolute garbage, which is exactly what we don't need right now, because uh, we need our vassals to like us, but she's at least a good fighter. Um, uncouth, dull, spiritualist, uh, familial kinslayer, let's, let's find out about that. Oh yeah, she's the one that had Naula murdered. <laughs> So she's kind of uh, Cersei'd her way to the throne, it looks like. She has the Lover's Pox, because of course she does. Stubborn, craven, deceitful, and cruel. Um, so yeah, not, 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 wouldn't be my first choice uh, of queen. Um, but here we are. Let's get her married to somebody. Uh, let's see, was that, who was that, that kid we were looking at earlier? Uh, was it him? Yeah. He's already married now. So, we're going to load our slot zero. I'm going to change this to men, geniuses, and I uh, want only people who would join my court. Nope. Uh, actually, he's similar in age to us. His diplomacy's terrible. Okay, we need someone with good diplomacy to make up for our terrible diplomacy. Maybe this dude. Arrange marriage. Matrilineal. You want to marry a queen? No. Okay. Let's do my religion. Apparently no geniuses are available. So let's get uh, strong. Nope. Quick. Attractive. Okay. Um, why not? Arrange marriage. Matrilineal. He's our diviner. And she's... What? Past childbearing age, she's a queen. Come on. You don't want to marry a queen? All right, we're just gonna go for high diplomacy stat um, and at least okay stewardship. Marriage, Sigma, matrilineal. Why? Oh, because he's also our count. Our counselors don't want to marry us. That's uh, that that much seems clear. Um, this guy though, he's our cousin, but that's totally fine. That's actually a hundred percent fine. Really? 17. He does not look 17. That is a that is a rough 17 right there. That is a 17-year-old who has seen some shit. Um Okay. Uh what about what about this dude? I did not think it would be this difficult. Okay, he'll marry us. He's the uh Crivitis of uh Ledurga. And also, he's the Chancellor of the Curonian Revolt. <laughs> but apparently, that's fine. Apparently, being on opposite sides of a revolt is fine. Alright, we're going to play to our strengths. Martial leadership. Uh, we're going to pick an ambition to groom an heir. We're going to try to nominate someone sensible. Uh, like Osala. We just don't have any guys in this dynasty worth uh, putting our crown on, it seems like. 
Keep the crown focus where it is so we can max out our holding slots. We need a new spy master who preferably doesn't hate us, but it looks like everyone hates us. Known murderer, kinslayer, short reign, you know, all that all that fun stuff. Um, does anybody like us at all? Osala likes us. Maybe we can build... Maybe we can build something here. I'm gonna make her the court tutor. I'm gonna send her money. Please don't murder me in my sleep. Alright. Um, we will serve Perkunas as uh, our dynasty traditionally does. Okay. So here's this battle happening. We have a superior commander. Okay, they want Osala as the heir, so that's good. I wish it would stop calling her the Tannist. Let's see. So we got all the good artifacts, right? None of them got destroyed. Crown of the Forest, Obsidian Axe, Axe of Perkunas, Head of Akko. Okay, yeah. Calling more people into the revolt. God of Thunder's our protector. We're going to keep doing that until somebody gets struck by lightning. <laughs> Alright, here's the main royal army. They've almost arrived. Um, we need prestige more than we need money right now, for sure. Okay, we have won the first battle of the revolt, and that is going to be the end of this episode. So, you know, as uh, as it goes, anyone can have an amazing god king and build a uh, large and powerful realm. Not everybody can hold it together, and that is what we are currently trying to prove our ability to do. Uh, it might be generations and generations more before Kironia is actually fully stabilized because Akko bit off enough that he could chew it uh, but none of his successors have been able to chew it yet because uh, they're not Akko and we'll have to see if we can finally create some semblance of stability uh, meanwhile let's check in on the Swedes uh, the revolt is winning by 1% currently over the new Christian king. Uh, See, so yeah, I'll, be, I'll be very interested to see how that goes. Check out loresworn.com. That's our website. Check out acopedia.loresworn.com where the Chronicles Wiki now lives. And if you would like to contribute to the Chronicles Wiki, uh, you can find out how to do that in the video I posted on Monday which is uh, introducing Acopedia and the story so far. Uh, be sure to subscribe, hit the notification thing. Uh, if you want to leave a like or a comment, all those engagements definitely help us get seen. And it's only going to get cooler from here as we start to, as we start to fill out the wiki, uh, as we start to generate new stories, as we start to see more of this world take shape. Uh, so definitely, if you want to uh, bring more people into the fold to enjoy that, we always appreciate your help in doing that, and we'll see you next time.